Fantasy Philosophers is brought to you by Fantasy-Info.com. Tight ends are always an interesting position when it comes to keeper leagues and some just regular fantasy leagues as there are certain leagues out there and some keeper leagues that you don't actually have a tight end position in your league. So if you don't have a tight end position, then I think you have to look at, okay, you balance is this tight end worth better than a receiver that I could get? And definitely guys like Antonio Gates, Vernon Davis, Dallas Clark, and some of the others, they're going to be worth over, you know, maybe some of those uh, receivers that are down the boards. You know, even a Jermichael Finley, Brent Selleck, those are guys that can also be strong, and there's other good ones as well. Right now, though, if you are in a, in a, in a league that definitely gives you an opportunity to maybe hold on to one tight end uh, for your team, 12-team league, hey, this is a great time for tight ends, I would say, because at this point in time, we're starting to see a decent amount of depth for tight ends. So I guess that's good and bad. I mean, if you if it was thinner, you know, there's not that much out there, and you've got one of the big dogs, and you've got a big advantage, but right now there may not be as much of an advantage. So it may be a little bit easier for you to recover if you don't have a Gates or a Davis who really broke out last season or a Dallas Clark or one of those type of guys. You know, you look at we've got even a Vasante Shanko is at 12. I think I've got him down just a little bit because in a keeper league, you know, after this season, Brett Favre probably not going to play again. So that probably should hurt his value from there. He may not even be worth holding on to after this year. But even guys like Tony Gonzalez, we have him at 11. It may very well be his last season in the NFL. So we just don't know how long he's going to last. But guys like Kellen Winslow, we got him at 9. He should still be around and getting a lot of targets. Uh, Owen Daniels, he drops to seven because of the ACL concerns. If not, he would have probably been a top five tight end to keep in keeper leagues because he's got a lot of talent. And if he does stay with the Texans, then that's a great situation for him to be in. But keep an eye on some of these names. Dustin Keller is a guy who's up and coming. He's a name that right now he could continue to grow. So there's a player that we need to look at. Fred Davis is another guy. It's all about opportunity for him. Chris Cooley is right now going to be in front of him. But there's a guy. Even as Zach Miller is a guy that it should be up and coming. He's had some good yardage and reception totals. We just need to see his touchdowns get better. So keep this cheat sheet in mind when you're gearing up for your drafts. We've got a bunch of depth in there. Obviously, there's rookies. So in your rookie drafts like Rob Gronkowski's in there and all the other guys that come along, Aaron Hernandez. I know Gronkowski may have to sit behind a guy like Crumpler uh, to start the season at the traditional tight end position with the Patriots. But... In the long term, he's going to take over. At some point this season, he should definitely take over as long as he's healthy and good. By some point midseason, I would expect him to be taking over that position. So there's a guy long term you can hold on to. And so keep those things in mind for this upcoming year for your tight end position. And once again, we just want to let you know that if you're listening to this out there on the internet, maybe on YouTube for a video, we've got this, uh, what we're talking about here available for you. There's a link. It should be a link at the bottom of where this video is at right underneath the text. And you can click on that link. You can go over and you can download uh, this information that we're talking about. You can print it out for yourself to use at your draft. We have that available for you. And if you're also listening to this on a podcast, maybe like Podbean, Mefedia, any one of those Blueberry, any of those type of places, that should also be incorporated. There should be an article with this as well. And there should be some type of link there for you to get back to the specific page that we're talking about for this cheat sheet or mock draft that we happen to be talking to you about right now. Good luck this season, and we hope that this information helps you have success. For more fantasy football information, go to fantasy-info.com and sign up for our free e-newsletter. Good luck in your 2010 fantasy football league. As an added bonus, the Fantasy Info guys will include their five secret tips for success in fantasy football.